And I'm like, I've wasted more at Disney and at other places on less. <laughs> How's that sound? Cool. Okay, we're taking turns. I feel like I just set like a record or something. I swear, if YouTube ever goes down, would you just look at that? I don't know that I ever want to come back during the daytime. Like, it's so gorgeous. Third time in a row. Here we go. Woo! It's now 10.18 and Gideon's closes at 11. I apologize for the shaky footage. It is because I'm walking insanely fast. You gotta be ready. You just gotta be ready. I don't know for it's a guy what? thing. You just gotta be ready. What? It sound like a teenage boy during your puberty. I'm like squeaking low key, high key, whatever. Having a kid that came back over trying to film this vlog tonight. We are hanging out here at the resort for a little bit this morning. We do have to check, we don't have to check out and, okay. <laughs> we don't have to check out of this resort until tomorrow, but we are checking into Saratoga tonight. So I paid for an extra day here so that we could stay and nap and do all that stuff and kind of stick to a somewhat normal routine today. That way tomorrow, which is Christmas party night, hopefully we can nap because we'll have our full day in the resort tomorrow. We can nap there and then go to the party. Um, I'm just like trying to at least have a couple days leading up to it where we're like somewhat normal and I just didn't want to bank on having an early check-in at the next hotel over at Saratoga Springs. So I'm like, hey, let's just add this night. And I'm like, it's like $90. And I'm like, I've wasted more at Disney and at other places on less. So I'm like, for 90 bucks, we'll give it a shot. Maybe it'll help, maybe it'll work. So we have this until then. And my plan is to go get breakfast, let them play, and then do quiet time and nap time here. And then after that, pack up. Maybe if we have time, depending on how nap time goes, head over to Blizzard Beach for a little bit because it opened it back up this week. So I'd love to go to Blizzard Beach for an hour or two. Um, let them play and then head over to Animal Kingdom for extended evening hours. So we'll see what all happens. That's my plan. We'll see if it goes according to plan. So come along for the day. later it's a little after 11 we're headed to the quick service to grab some lunch I have a macaroni cup and a beefaroni cup for myself uh, the macaroni cups for Lu Bella and then I'll probably grab something for Lucy because she's like not wanting macaroni today which I don't blame her um, sometimes you just aren't feeling like eating the same foods you anything um, but we're gonna try and grab something like that and then head back to the room for quiet time and nap time yes Bella gets to press the outside button and Lucy gets to press the inside button. How's that sound? Cool. Okay, we're taking turns. Lucy wanted a hot dog, so that's what we got. Got the chili and cheese, it's a chili cheese dog, so I got that on this side. I'm gonna dip the fries in the chili. She'll eat the cheese. Got Bella's macaroni made, my beefaroni made, so we are ready to eat. Dog Mickey, that this, the mustard 
mustard has to be done in swiggle like Mickey's hot dog. All right, so it's a bit later, it is 3.20. The girls are up from their nets, got the room all packed up and ready to go. Um, learned a lesson though. I didn't know that there was a cutoff for transfers. The person told me 11, but I know we've transferred bags at like 12 or so, so in that range. Um, so there, it may be a little bit slightly later cutoff than 11, but I didn't know that. So one thing to note is it is awesome to have this room later in the day and the girls like were able to get a nap, which was, awesome and I didn't have to bank on an early check-in and also like getting everything to the room and getting the pack and play there and everything to be able to make nap time happen at a decently normal time um so I'm glad I just, like did what I did but this is it does mean that we're not going to be able to go to Blizzard Beach this afternoon um because we're gonna have to transfer our own luggage so I am getting a minivan I'm having bell services come and help me assist or uh, assist me with getting the luggage to um, the front area basically so the minivan can come and pick us up but that's just the situation so that is a con of doing this like the pro is that you get to sleep in you get to do all this other stuff and you have a room to sleep in until your other room is ready or like hang out in or whatever you're not homeless but you do have to in turn transfer your own luggage unless you're willing to they're like we can transfer it tomorrow but i'm like i need mm, some of this stuff tonight um like our sound machine pack and play like our slumber pods we need clothes tomorrow and they're like i don't have to deal with all that so that stuff is going we're just going to transfer it ourselves so that'll be a little bit easier now if you're somebody that you don't need your stuff until tomorrow that works um, but for us and our family we do need that stuff so we are gonna be catching a minivan so just waiting on Bell services to get here and then we'll get out of here minivan are you so excited yeah <laughs> okay we're here we are all checked in um, we had the sweetest um, minivan driver his name was Joey and he was absolutely lovely like I literally need to go on and give him a calf compliment. Um, honestly, if you are ever on the fence about taking, sorry, I'm like moving back, talking at the same time. Uh, but if you are ever on the fence about taking a minivan, do it. It is worth, I would spend that extra money versus a like Uber car seat every day of the week because those cast members are absolutely incredible and it's worth every extra penny you spend. Um, I had to take an Uber car seat with Lucy the other day um, and it was like, 12 or 15 extra dollars um, for like that I would have done that in a minivan but I already had a minivan accessible ordered and it only had one car seat I think I talked about this in the vlog the other day but um, if I didn't <laughs> talking about it now the minivan accessible so one for wheelchairs so my grandmother had to have it for the scooter only has one car seat so sadly Lucy and I had to take something else I only had the Lyft app nobody else in my party had the Lyft app and we didn't want to download it so I already had the Uber app so I did an Uber car seat it was $15 less but had I had the option to do that or the other hands down um, I did not like our Uber driver he he was not very nice he was it was not a fun magical experience um so highly recommend the minivans all that to say book a minivan I feel like I just set like a record or something because we got from All Star Sports to here at Saratoga and I've got us in our room. The pack and play has been brought, both slumber pods have been set up, Lucy's inflatable bed is set up, pajamas are in the bathroom, like the whole thing is set up. We are ready to go when we get back for bath time. So I'm very excited and I did all that in an hour and a half. So I feel like I need like a prize or something for this. Um, lots of practice. I swear if YouTube ever goes down, I'm just gonna have like a service of setting up baby gear because I've gotten Mommy. really, Mommy. really good at it. Are you gonna take pictures of the tree? Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'm taking pictures of the 
It has been so long since I've seen Animal Kingdom at Christmas, so I'm very excited. Some flame tree barbecue and wound around to this lovely view. There's nobody here, just a cast member cleaning up. Got this whole section to ourselves. So, extended evening hours is looking pretty good so far. <laughs> and we're mouthing our water balls. <laughs> You guys, we are 12 minutes in, and this is what Animal Kingdom's looking like. Now, Flight of Passage is still a 50 minute wait, so it's still dying off from day crowds, but I'm excited to see how low this is. stayed until night after it gets dark like look at that would you just look at that like it's gorgeous and I mean look at behind me like it's just the vibe here at night is amazing I don't know that I ever want to come back during the daytime like it's so gorgeous and so good like I have never experienced Animal Kingdom at night and I'm blown away. So if you haven't, you need to add this to your list of like, all right, we gotta do Animal Kingdom in the evening. But most people I feel like are done by like midday and then they go home and they're like, they don't stay very long. So you might take a midday nap break and then come back because this is amazing. Are you playing drums?
Back to the open door. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> We're very excited. <laughs> Are you excited? Just, just a little bit. Is that Minnie and Grabbing a quick potty break before we head out of the park for the evening. The girls took a bath. We got back. The girls took a bath. It is now 10:18, and Gideon's closes at 11. So I'm gonna see if I can make it over there and get myself a chocolate chip cookie. Um, you know, late night cravings. And when in Rome, and when you have the opportunity, let's go. So, off to Disney Springs we go. They close at 11. Will we make it? <laughs> I don't know. I apologize for the shaky footage. It is because I'm walking insanely fast. sunburn. Fair. It's weird. Like, at least in a beautifying. It is cookie time, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's falling apart. <laughs> mm. Okay. So if you get good ends, you have to get the cookie butter icing, dip your cookie, and the cookie butter. Do I need to be eating this at midnight? Probably not. <laughs> but we're living large. Good morning you guys I don't know what day like I know it's Thursday but I don't know what like day in this trip it is anymore I kind of lost track so I'll pop it up on the screen um, but look who came back I'm here He's back. <laughs> we're over at Saratoga now you I think you I said that yesterday at the end of the vlog or in the vlog we got a ground floor walkout room here in Grandstand. I love it because you can actually see the boats going by in the distance when they're running. There's not one now. You can watch people on the golf course. And I love that it's a walkout room because the girls, like there's all this grassy area and they can just walk out and walk around and play in the grass. So I think that's awesome. I love it. Got all the golf carts whizzing by. Oh, there goes a boat. One of the like, see it moving there? The little, uh, I guess like patrol boats. I don't know. I don't know what that's called, but it's a speed boat. It's a lot faster than the ones we ride on as guests. Would it be a day at a resort or a low-key morning if I didn't start a load of laundry? Probably not. 
Also, bonus tip, the washers and dryers at the DVC Resort are free. So if you're like us and you're staying in a studio, and I forgot to put my necklace on, <laughs> feeling for that. But if you're staying in a studio like we are, you can go and utilize that to wash your clothes for free. So bonus tip, trick, hack, whatever you wanna file that one under. Use this to make sure your husband doesn't pack like 40 extra pairs of underwear. Lord knows. Like, we're, how long are we gonna be gone? Three days. Uh, 20 pair. Minimal. <laughs> You gotta be ready. You just gotta be ready. I don't know it's a guy what? thing. You just gotta be ready. What? Alright, so I'm doing one of the most holiday Christmassy things at Disney Springs. I got the holiday turkey sandwich. I think it is a, like a bomb sandwich. If you love holiday food, you gotta get it. They even have a holiday ham sandwich, um, but it has like stuffing on it and gravy, and you can get it with cranberry sauce and mayo. I personally leave those last two off cranberry and mayo, but the rest of it, I'm just like, so good. So, if you like holiday food, you've got to come and check out Earl of Sandwich. If you're a pass holder, you can get a discount here. DVC, I believe, also gets a discount here. Um, and it's just such a reasonably priced meal. So, if you're looking for budget friendly and yummy, Earl of Sandwich. Again, the music moves me ugly. But it's okay, because this is, as Lucy said, Daddy, it's your favorite music. <laughs> He's playing with the water. Bella's throwing stuff away. Thank you, Belle. Your mommy's good work then. <laughs> Just a few minutes, okay? But then we gotta head back to our room. Okay. You girls want some pizza for lunch? Lucy, is that a good hot dog? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Bella, is that a good hot dog? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good hot dog. Aaron's doing it. I'm just glad they're eating something. like rough draft is all finished up um, so I just have a little bit to do when I'm not in such a noisy place I'm gonna do music and have other things like that so we'll tackle that in just a little bit but before we back up with me and the girls they're I believe still here if they've headed to the resort yet I'm gonna go take a solo round on the people mover because that's what I want to do because I'm solo and I'm just gonna enjoy myself
All right, Dean got us breakfast while I was finishing up the video. I feel like I sound terrible. I don't know, like, I sound like I have no voice to me. Um, which, I don't have a much of a voice. I sound like a teenage boy. Very, very, very pretty. I'm like squeaking. <laughs> it's awful. We have Jollywood tonight, so I'm hoping I can rest today. It's why I'm like, I'm not vlogged. I feel terrible because I'm like, Yesterday and today is so sparse. I, I've just, I got arrested. Um, so I can't be doing a lot of talking. But we're hanging out at the pool. We're just chilling here at All Star Music today. It's where we're staying um, until we are on, on our cruise. We actually stay in the same place for a few days now, which is nice. Um, but yeah, that's, that is the plan. We're gonna get some breakfast, hang out in the pool, work on our tans. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the plan right now. It is one o'clock. It was a fun pool time. We've been here for two hours? Yeah, about two hours. Two hours. So, had a lot of fun. It's got a little clouds in the sky. That makes it really nice. It does. It's and, like, uh, it's warm, but the cloud coverage, so you're not like, just completely burning. Yeah. That's so, nice. It was good. I still sound like a boy in puberty. Are you saying you sound like Hannah Montana? No. You got a country thing going on. Do I? You got a country. Mommy, Say, uh, what's one of those words in the song she's got? I have no idea. It's yeah. been so long since I've listened to Hannah Montana. <laughs> well, it's not surprising. I get sleepy and my country comes out more. I try to hide it, you guys. I try. <laughs> I try my hardest, but you know, when you're born and raised, it's kind of hard to hide. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the real thing. We're about to go to lunch at a place that you will not guess. So, and we've never been there before. Nope, we've never Disney been we've here. We've never done before. Never been here on Disney property in our life before. So, it's going to be something new. So, come on with us. Okay, and would it be dropping something? <laughs> dropping clothes on the way to the laundry. But, would it be a resort day if I didn't do a little laundry? So, before we run out, and do our thing that we've never done before. Um, I'm gonna start some laundry. Gosh, I sound awful. Ah, oh, you guys. I need my voice back for Jollywood. <sighs> this is so frustrating. I guess it's just all the videos. Cause I mean, we've been here two weeks today and I've been filming a lot of videos. We're off-roading, you guys. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, here we go. We're on an adventure. So 
Yes, we are walking to McDonald's. How, how many of you have done that? Have you done that? Like, <laughs> How many we were this you think close? we're crazy for doing this? <laughs> well, that's probably a vast majority of them. Look, Click man. the thumbs up button if you think we're crazy. Yeah, I love McDonald's, okay? <laughs> hey, after two weeks of Disney food, I'm just kind of like, you want to go to McDonald's? I want to so we're going to McDonald's. <laughs> All right, got the girls their chicky nugget kids meals. Got our food. They had a um, like a frozen Sprite limeade. I've never tried that. So of course, naturally we got one to try. Um, girls got some water, Dean got a Fanta, and I got a Sprite, so like double Sprite. So we are going to dig in and eat and then go take a nap because we've got Jollywood tonight. All right, here we go. Sprite lemonade, limeade, Sprite, Sprite, Sprite. Frozen Sprite. I like that. I would get it again. No, oh, they put cheese on your sandwich. They always put cheese on this every time I get this. Even the Disney McDonald's gets it wrong. My voice. I can't even take myself seriously right now. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to walk today. I'm like low key, high key, whatever. Having. Inside hand over trying to film this vlog tonight. So I want to do a good job. And I don't want to sound like I don't want to sound weird. Yeah. So I'm just gonna eat the cheese on it. She's wild. <laughs> By McDonald's that was McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing exciting or extra tasty to report. Nothing fancy. It was McDonald's but you know it filled the belly and it was something different so that was nice. <laughs> All right you guys it is day after Jollywood. Uh, we got a res we just made a reservation for Teppanidu over at the Japan Pavilion in Epcot. We've not been there in a hot minute and sounded good so we're gonna run over there and do a late lunch um, we had a very late breakfast we didn't eat breakfast until like almost 11 a.m. because we slept till 10 or so um, girls included thank God because um, last night was a late night we all needed the rest but that is kind of the plan for now is go over there do that come back I'd love to edit my Jollywood video to go up tomorrow which is Monday when I'm filming this so we'll see if I can make that happen or not I don't know but I'm kind of getting tired and I don't want to be exhausted for this cruise because I'm really excited about it and I want to enjoy that so we'll see it'll be a game time decision.
this, guys. You'll never believe this. It's ready for this. It's a. Uh, it's Hertzberg. I used to live there. <laughs> Just gotta keep it old school. Come on, every time, every single time. Right there. Boom. In that house. The little house down there. That's where I lived. Cause I used to live in in Hertzberg, Germany. That's that's my house. <laughs> I feel so, so full. Um, we love it. It is one of my favorite sit-down restaurants here in um, Epcot. I think it's great. The girls loved it. It was their first time going. Um, we've been lots of times before without the kids, but this is our first time taking them. And they ate it really, really well. Bella ate her weight in the chicken. And then um, they actually were able to even make the noodles plain. So both of the girls like that and rice. And you can actually get refills on the rice. So that was great. Um, they actually split the chicken kids meal. So it was like 18 bucks, so they were able to split it, which wasn't bad. And then Bella ate some off of our plate and it was great. So we didn't have to like buy a full meal for her. Um, so I'm all for them splitting kids meals any way they can and that restaurant would allow it. So that's great. Um, but yeah, if you can get a reservation there, it is so much fun. They loved like watching them cook and it was just so fun and exciting. So yeah, I definitely would try it out if you haven't or you haven't tried hibachi. Um, it's a really, really good one for us. We don't have a good hibachi local to us in Tennessee um, in our area, so we think it's amazing. Some people think theirs at home is better, but we don't have one, so this is ours that we like to go to. we leave on our cruise and we are getting picked up from our resort at like 10 a little after 10 10 15 and I was gonna get a pink donut to take to the hotel room so I could just eat something there super simple and be able to uh, like pack up the room and let's get ready to go because we'll have to have our bags ready and blah 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 um, so I was gonna do that but the lady in front of me bought the very last pink donut that they had so no pink donut no. for me. Um, and they didn't have any cronuts either. No, they didn't. They were getting slim pickings um, at that point. So, no <laughs> pink donut. Oh. oh well, I'll live. It is 6.30, we are back at the room, or back on our way to the room. We stopped and roasted some s'mores. The girls have started just loving doing that, or roasted marshmallows. They love to just roast them and eat them. Like we don't do the graham crackers and the whole s'more complete kit. Um, we just do the free s'mores and they absolutely love doing it. And it's really fun. Um, it's just a neat little activity that you can do at your resort and all Disney resorts do it, um, which is really cool. And so we had fun doing that. Um, but it, we're trying to do like an early bedtime especially for the girls trying to rest and um, get everything packed up because tomorrow is cruise day and I am so excited um, this is our very first uh, this is my first cruise at all and first Disney cruise um, Dean's first Disney cruise so we're very very excited to say the least um, so yeah I cannot wait to jump into those vlogs and videos and just the experience we are getting picked up I think I said it earlier but we're getting picked up fairly early in the morning um, so we're getting on the ship I think our boarding time for the ship is for group five and we get on around 11:30, I think is what it said in the email um, so I don't know we'll see obviously I'm gonna take you guys along in the vlogs for all of that but yeah, I'm really, really, really excited about this. So we're trying to like be prepared. We're not staying out late and closing down a park. So we're trying to be prepared to relax and enjoy our Disney cruise.